Good morning, guys. Today is uh, uh, we're back to normal, a normal routine of a day. And I have three dogs, three, three dogs to do today. And I'm not sure. I might just uh, clean. <laughs> I say this every day and then I don't do it, but that's the plan. Um, but I got to be flexible, right? So that's why the plan never comes to fruition. Well, sometimes it does, but not very often. And that's just because I got to be flexible. So really, it's not that I'm not productive. I'm just flexible. <laughs> So uh, today, anyway, yeah, I'm going to probably clean out the the porch um, violet was kind of gross and stinky and so I took apart their beds today and I washed washed the covers and the the insides are like hanging out on the clothesline the wind's blowing through them and airing them out and yeah I'll probably clean the porch today and then um, get outside and deadhead those flowers I've been telling you I'm gonna do forever and then I'll probably take you on a tour of I don't know I'll either do the plants that are out in the no I'll probably do the ones in Rich's room I've got some cool ones in there so and then when I clean out there on the in the big add-on, then that's where the bulk of my plants are, and I'll show you those. And I'll also show you I have a couple on my porch that I'm cleaning today. So that is the plan. We'll see how this day goes, and I'm gonna go drink my tea. This is Sadie and Ozzy. They're really sweet little doggies. Ozzy's a pain in the butt about getting his feet done though, aren't you bud? He's perfect in every other way though. Huh? Yes, I know. I know it. And little Miss Sadie, she's just so cute and little. Huh? And so sweet. These are good puppies. Yeah. These are good puppies. <laughs> oh. There's them guys, all done. Just waiting for their mommy to come. Huh? Are you ready for your mom? This is Oreo. You guys have probably seen him before. He doesn't look too bad, which is great. His family's been bringing him more and it's good. So today, I just, I'm going to clean up his face, give him more of the the clean face like the poodle has clean up you know the feet the butt grind off his nails because they're sharp huh maybe cut them if they need it oh we're probably gonna pluck his ears too because they're getting a little hairy in them ear canals huh I'll show you the plucking of the ears it's sort of satisfying okay so, um, poodles and doodles and stuff usually have a lot of hair in their ear canals and it can make them get an ear infection. So, all you have to do is you buy this ear powder and you sprinkle it in. Kind of squirt it in there. Um, he's turning his head so you can't see. But, and then you just kind of, like rub it around on the ear hairs in there and then you can just pull it out pretty easy you can also use hemostats to do it but I think it's easier just to use my fingers if it doesn't gross you out it probably still work if you had gloves on or whatever too
sorry, I'm not getting a very good shot. Okay, so that made the hole nice and clean. And now I'm just gonna take my scissors and cut this part off here. It really only pulls the ear or the hair that's in the hole out. It doesn't pull this outer stuff off. So There we go. Now his ear is all clean. There's Mr. Oreo, all done. He doesn't look that different, but he does look better. Clean, fluffy, just tidied up, huh, bud? And he smells way better. Yeah, he smells way better. Oh, that's why I'm just. I had a day off. I forgot it was Wednesday. I am sitting here eating a creamy. This is number two. <laughs> um, and now my doggies are eating their dinner. It's weird that we only have five here now. Seems like way less. Um, I gotta show you something. I saw something on the way out of here. It caught my eye real quick, but I didn't have time to look at it. And me and Rich are going to look at it. It's a surprise for him, too. <laughs> Bloop. Oh, my gosh, I see it. Yeah. Our, uh, Carrie Eye has got two flowers right there. That's one, so cool. one that's open and uh oh, looks like we got some freaking Millie bugs again. Ooh, eat them. Dang. Hello, my pretties. Hmm. Those are cool. They look more unreal than even those ones. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Look at this leaf, guys. It's beautiful. I guess I'm going to have to... Tomorrow I'm going to water all these plants that need watered. And then, uh... I guess spray for freaking millie bugs. I hate them. Look at that leaf. So annoying. I know. So pretty since I cut it off. Gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Huge. It's huge. Okay, so my jobs for tonight are that I'm going to clean this porch area. Oh, and I was going to take you on a tour of the plants out here. We have the, I need to water. Do I need to water them? Did I water them? I didn't. I got to water these ones. And the ones in Rich's room. So I'm going to show you those ones too. So this is the... What was that? What's this? I'm not sure on that one. Philodendron? It is a philodendron, but I got it from Harley. It's not a Mikan's. I'll have to ask her and maybe I'll insert it. We'll see. Or you can go back to that video if you really care. Not much. I'll just ask Carly. It's like, let me just ask her and then I'll tell you. Yeah, hang on. We've got the public Alex, the silver, silvery one. It's growing up through the curtain. I guess that's all I have out here now because my other one died. Besides, hang on. I have ignored this and it looks like everything died which sucks because this was my 
Rotunda Flora right here. And then this was my, what was it called? Um, I can't remember. Sorry. It doesn't matter because it's dead. But I do have my huge Skiolana still. So I'm just going to pull this out and put it. I hope it doesn't shock it too much because it's so humid in there. But it is pretty humid in this part of the hat. Oh, no, it's not. It's only 29% humidity. That's weird. With the swamp cooler on, you'd think it would be more. But I'm just going to put it up here. And we'll see how it does. I'm debating if I want to plant something in here or just let it go. What do you guys think? I don't know. Oh, I hardly didn't text me back yet, but I'm pretty sure this is called a philodendron camposporturanum or something like that. It's very pretty. It's much like the philodendron micans. Look at that satiny finish. And then this is the uh, syndapsis enjoy or whatever you want to call it. I'm going to water these real quick. In Rich's room, we have some cool ones. This is a silver sword philodendron. Oh, it's so thirsty. I'm sorry, poor thing. See what happened? I was going to just water everything room by room as I cleaned it, but I didn't clean Rich's. He did, and I don't think he watered them. So, anywho, um, this is a... Hoya Ruthie, and this is a beautiful, this is a philodendron tortum. When I was at Home Depot the other day, they had a whole bunch of these. I'm like, what? That was like so unusual to get before and rare, and now you can get them at Home Depot for 20 bucks. <laughs> okay, and then this one's an Australis Lisa Tenue. Can you wipe? Okay, this is a Breviolata, Hoya Breviolata. So thirsty, poor thing. All the flowers have, are gone. Okay, and then over here we have the Hoya Retusa. This one flowered one year, but I think it might have been two years since it flowered, and it's always been in this spot, so. I find that very odd. Um, this is a Peperomia beetle. Uh, this is a Iris Marie, right? Yeah, pretty sure that's the I. Yep, Iris Marie, Hoya, Hoya, Odorata, and my little friend, the Dishidia. Um, Ovada. So cute. I love that one. I have this plant, which I put in a place with less light. And it is looking ugly. So I'm going to put it out here on top of the freezer where it can get more light. So... This is what it looks like out here right now. It's probably going to not look very good even when I get done, but it'll be cleaner. On Saturday, I'm going to paint this freaking door again. It's like the, I don't even know how many times I've painted it. And then I'm going to put that scratch thing up before we leave on our trip, on our camping trip. And I'd like to organize like all this stuff. Maybe put it over here on top of the shelves, you know, if it'll fit. And then I can just put that plant up there. Yeah, that's what I think I'm going to do. It's probably so dusty. I got to, yep, it is. I got to clean that off. 
on this plant I'm just gonna take it all the maybe I'll put some more soil in at the pot but I'm just gonna cut off all of these dead things and maybe cut off yeah I think I'm gonna cut these all off and stick them down into the pot so it's fuller and hopefully it'll do better where I'm putting it it's weird how it's just dead and then all of a sudden these new green shoots come off of it okay I'm gonna go put some more soil in this pot before I plant those in there okay so I'm just going to like cut these off a little bit like this and then just stick that into the soil. Oh, I just broke it. give her some water see we'll see how she does got the porch cleaned and now I'm so sweaty oh, I'm waiting for the floor to dry rehydrating and then I'm gonna go put that thing up on my door and then I'm gonna go deadhead finally <laughs> how many days have I have I been saying that I'm going to do that I'm going to go deadhead all of my red hot pokers and there might be some other things I'm deadheading too I'm not sure look how cute our cucumber patch looks I love it and there's so many cucumbers we picked our first one I'm not sure what brand it is but look at all these long ones I think they're called China Jade they're really long and skinny. And never bitter. Yeah. They're so good. And we're gonna, we should pick our beans too and just have a few things out of the garden for dinner tonight. And you can have the chicken because I had it with rice for lunch. And we have an artichoke too that we picked the other day that we oh, can yeah. eat. Let's eat that there's a, a kiku chrysanthemum melon they're really good I like them yeah they're just like personal sized once it turns kind of white that's when we'll eat it we're gonna have a ton of melons oh yeah there's a lot on this one too that's so fun you guys I like growing things in just big patches like this I think do you like yeah I like it how excited you guys get but look there's a little baby this is a yellow zucchini there's a little baby one right there and this is our green zucchini and it's got a baby too it's a little bit bigger oh so that one and then there's this one too a little baby so cute oh my gosh and I think these are two more little babies These are our artichokes that I think they like didn't grow last year and then they came back up this year. And we already picked one. We're going to eat it for dinner tonight. But this plant has two more on it. So much fun. Maybe we should pick this one. Not quite. This one doesn't have any yet. So I have these red hot pokers. That's kind of a pathetic one, but um, all throughout my flower beds, all throughout the yard. And in previous years, I've cut these flowers clear down to the base and they've never come back. So I Googled it and it said to just cut them right below Luna where the petals have died back, you know. 
just the petals and that should promote them to come back again. So, right here. Okay, I got all of those deadheaded and now I think I'm gonna go deadhead my Malva or Malvia Zebrinas. But first I wanted to show you, I was bent over here um, trimming off those, I missed one. Those, uh, what are they called? Red Hot Pokers. And there's a freaking hornet nest right there and it bit me <laughs> through my shirt. Rich sprayed it. And it looks like they're all dead now, but we have these all over, everywhere, all the time. Do you guys have hornet nests? They're actually wasps or yellow jackets. I'm not sure which one. But when they bite you, it freaking hurts. Little a-holes. And these are my Malva, Malvia Sabrina, Zabrinas, and they looked really pretty. <sighs> but... They need deadheaded, and I don't think they were getting watered down towards that end, so they started looking really ugly. I'm just going to prune them all off, and I mean, that's how they looked all the way down, and they were all really thick. Yeah, hopefully we can get them to come back looking better. Looks better, but it doesn't look good, but I think it will look good. I trimmed that down too. And look, there's another blasted hornet's nest right there. I know it really bothered someone. I can't remember who it was, but they're like, please change that light bulb. <laughs> so I thought that was funny and I get it. So I did. I put the one that I had in here, in there. And I screwed this on weird. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to ask Rich to fix it for me. And then I'll just put put that light bulb in there. Better to be out here. And then I pulled this out and like Rich will hang it up when he comes in. He said, I could do it, but things like that are kind of annoying to me. And I think Rich likes doing things like that. He says he does, so that's why he's going to do it. We, we make a good team that poem about Jack Spratt and his wife have you guys heard it um, Jack Spratt could eat no fat his wife could eat no lean and so between them both you see they licked the platter clean it's like that only for chores and well it applies to everything really because me and Rich are opposite I think that's why opposites attract are you with your significant other, are you um, are you pretty different, opposite in a lot of ways? Like as me and Rich have gotten older, we've come together, which is good. We've made each other more moderate, at least more moderate between our two opposites. Very interesting. This is our dinner. Rich made it. There's carrots out of our garden, cucumbers out of our garden, a few beans out of our garden, and some celery from the grocery store. <laughs> but Rich was going to cook that artichoke, but it takes, you have to steam it for like 45 minutes, and it's 10 o'clock. <laughs> so maybe tomorrow we'll have that, hopefully. We also picked this nice onion out of our garden. Usually the red ones don't get that big. It's impressive. And then uh, Rich got, well this is all clean now. Oh, he didn't hang it up. I thought he did. Over the window. Well, down, obviously. All the way. What do you mean? Well, because that's the part she scratches, is this. 
she doesn't scratch it up there. But look how it's going to look. I know. And where do I stick it at? I don't know, because I don't know how it works. That's why I'm saying. Yeah. You just stick it. Double-sided tape. You stick it. <laughs> hey. Is that the right one? Kind of uh, blocks off the light, too, a lot, huh? That's stupid. Oh. Like, I mean, you can cut it out and like put it there, and she, but she's still gonna or maybe there, just the bottom one or something. Yeah. But do I cut it? There's like no instructions. Cut what? Yes. Or do we just leave it like that? No, I think you leave it. But I'd put it up a little higher for it so it doesn't, uh, so it's on top of the dog door, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, that'll work like that. Dumb dogs. <laughs> they always make everything complicated. <laughs> there it is. It's making the dogs bark because they can see their reflection in it. You guys are dumb dumbs. Huh? You'll have to get used to that, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> you guys are funny. Okay, but that should keep keep my uh, door safe from Poppy. Hello. <laughs> Our dogs are barking because they can see their reflection in there. Yeah. But it's not on. Like, there's not much spots you can stick it to, like on here. Uh huh. So, there's a couple. I might need to add more if it falls off. Oh. But there was a film on both sides, so it's clearer now. Oh. I didn't realize it until it stuck to that and pulled off. Well, that's probably so. okay. I was, I wondered why. Okay. I think that's better than up there. I do too because then, yeah, because they can't scratch up there. So, okay, we'll see how this works out. Cross our fingers. Hey, well, I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow.